Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Stacy, and this is the For Bricks and Giggles YouTube channel. For today's video, I wanted to do something a little different. I wanted to show you all every raised base plate I have in my collection. So let's get started. So I'm actually gonna be doing this by oldest to newest, and I'm going to insert some footage so you can see the set that this base plate is built on. So first up, we have the classic Crater Space base plate in original light gray. And this base plate actually came in mini sets. According to brick length 13 in total. Some of those are duplicates though because at the time this base plate was coming out, sometimes they would give sets two different numbers depending on what country they were released in. So I have this from set 497, which is the original Galaxy Explorer. It usually sells for an average of $9 on brick length, although the quality can definitely be variable. Because of the age, it tends to yellow crack and be damaged, but it is a fantastic base plate. Next up, we have the Poolside Paradise base base plate from set 6416 in 1992. Absolutely love this base plate. The little pool. The pattern is beautiful. The color is beautiful. This base plate is exclusive to the set with this pattern on it, but they did use this style of base plate for multiple sets. Four patterns in total. This base plate also sells on average for around $12 on Bricklink. Next up, we have this base plate. For me, this one comes from the original Enchanted Island set, set 6278 from 1994. It only came in three sets, one of which is just a remake of the original Enchanted Island, and on average sells for around $31 on brick length. Again, this one is very prone to damage, so $31, give or take, depending on the quality of the base plate. They did use this style of base plate for other sets, and there are a total of five different designs that you can get this base plate in. Next up we have the base plate from the Royal Knights Castle, set 6090 from 1995. This base plate style is exclusive to the set and this is the only pattern that comes on this base plate. And on average this base plate sells for around $39, so definitely a little more on the expensive side. Here we have another 1995 base plate. This comes from the Neptune Discovery Lab, set 6195. It sells for an average of $14 and this pattern is is exclusive to this set. Here we have the base plate from the Sphinx Secret Surprise. That's set 5978 from 1998. And again, this style is used in multiple sets, but this pattern is exclusive to this set. And on average, it sells for around $15. Here we have the base plate from Rock Raiders HQ, set 4990 from 1999. This style of base plate is used in eight different sets in six different patterns, but this pattern is exclusive to this set. And on average, it sells around $24 on Bricklink. Here we have what is probably the largest raised base plate LEGO has created. This style of base plate has come in three different sets. This pattern is exclusive to the Enchanted Palace, set 5808 from 1999. And I did want to point out that but this is actually a sticker down in the bottom of this base plate. According to Bricklink, this base plate sells on average for $8, which to me seems very low, but it is kind of expensive to ship, so it's possible people try to sell it for less so that people will actually be willing to pay the amount that it costs to ship it. Next up, we have this base plate. For me, this base plate comes from set 6091 6098 King Leo's Castle from 2000. Like I said before, this base plate style does come in a variety of sets. In this particular design, it comes in three different sets, two of which are King Leo's Castle because they released it under two different numbers. And on average, it sells for $26. Next up, we have a personal favorite of mine. This comes from the Enchanted Garden, set 5834 from 2001. This style of base plate comes in two different sets, but this pattern is exclusive to this set. And one thing I want to point out is this base plate has no studs. There is this 8x8 cutout that you put a brick in or a plate, but there are technically no studs on this base plate. And on average, it sells for around $10. Next up, we have another massive raised base plate. This comes from the Royal Crystal Palace set 5850 from 2002, and this comes in light blue. There is a similar one that comes in bright light blue, but there is a distinction. So in light blue, it is exclusive to the set and on average sells for around $9. 
Next up, we have this beautiful raised base plate. Another personal favorite, specifically because I love the gold printing. This comes from the Golden Palace set 5858 from 2003, and I just recently added this set to my collection. On average, the base plate sells for around $12, and this design is exclusive to the set. Next up, we have one of my most played with base plates as a child. This comes from the Flower Fairy Party set 5862 from 2003. This design is also exclusive to the set and on average this base plate sells for around $30. Here we have the base plate from Ogles Mountain Fortress set 4748 from 2004 and again I just got this set recently. This design is exclusive to the set and the base plate sells on average for around $26. This is the last of the super large Belleville base plates. This comes from the Winter Wonder Palace set 7577 from 2006 and like I had said earlier there is a light blue version and then a bright light blue version and this is the bright version. It's exclusive in this color to this set and on average sells for about $8. Here we have a kind of unique light bluish gray base plate. This comes from a hospital set, set 7892 from 2006. This base plate came in three sets total. It does have some grass stickers which are kind of fun and on average sells for around $10 a piece. So I'll show this base plate one more time because I do have it in two different sets. This also comes in the Royal King's Castle, set 10176 from 2006. And like I said earlier, it does sell for around $26. This is the last one in my collection, and I actually just added this to my collection as well. This comes from the Royal Summer Palace, set 7582 from 2007. This comes in a really rare color called Light Lime. I believe it's the only base plate to come in that color. The design is exclusive to the set and the base plate on average sells for around $22. I know that this was a little bit different of a video, but I had been going through my raised base plates recently and I thought it would be cool to share all of the sets that I have with raised base plates. I wish that I could have them all built at the same time. Maybe someday I'll be able to do a video like that. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. And if you're interested in extra content and videos, Check out the membership program starting at only 99 cents a month. See you all next time.